Good evening, this is Jackie from Pilot View Arts, and tonight we're going to uh, paint this Highlander cow with sunflowers, and you can make these flowers any color you want to, but we are going to start with our cow, and I am going to do my darkest area first, which is his ears. I gotta put my glasses on y'all. Okay. Now I did the background in black and Persian blue. Can you see the variation there? And uh, it's a 12 by 16 canvas. And you don't have to be exact, but Let's see, where's my ears at? I like to do around the outside of my area so I know where I'm where I'm at and what I'm covering. And you can hear some music in the background. I have the voice auditions on. I don't know if you can hear them or not. They're actually out in the, the next room. Which is the family room. Which right now is a wreck because a few weeks ago we did a, a festival. I brought everything home and a paint party. And I haven't cleaned it up, but I'm dying to paint. Which usually wins out. I'm also going to do the center's of my flower in this burnt umber. <laughs> oh, I didn't do those. I gotta do those. Okay, let me get these flowers down here. Can you see me in the other camera? I've got two cameras here. One so I can do a time lapse and post it. And one to be able to do on YouTube. Put on YouTube for later if someone wants to do this. Okay, got one more ear to do here in the dark. I got it. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to do the body in the medium or in the dark? I think I'll do it in the medium. So I'm going to wipe my brush off. And I don't know why I started with the dark other than it was on my, on my canvas. I'm seeing what I had. Okay, I've lost the top to that. There it is. Um, 
and I've made a mess with this. There we go. I'm going to put just a touch of water on that and wipe it out some more. I'm going to put some of my light color out here. And I usually only put about a quarter of a size. Sorry about my arm. But I'm going to do my light color around my eye and around my nose and my lip. There's not a whole lot of light. Now he's got a lighter area under his lip. Sorry about the quiet. I'm just concentrating here. I'm using a half inch flat brush. There we go. Got the light. I'm going to wipe that out. But I missed a spot. Okay. Now I'm going to do my medium areas, which is the, the larger areas. And then I'll decide what, how I'm going to do the body. And on these dark canvases, you usually have to do two coats. So, we just do it, let it, let the parts dry while we work on a different part. And if it's not good and dry, then we'll come back with the little heat gun, craft heat gun, and apply a little heat to it. But the way that you can tell it is dry is that it's not shining when you uh, try to reflect the light off of it. And it's not got a tacky touch. These are a lot of fun to do. You can do them in many, many ways. Like I said, instead of this being a sunflower, you could do it as a poinsettia.
So, you can do it for any season. I did a paint party and we did like spring colors. We did abstract flowers. They were kind of round like a rose or a, or a peony. And I wanted to do this. You know, some flowers are very popular flowers, but like I said, you could do them in any color that you wanted. Doesn't have to be red. Doesn't have to be yellow. I'm going to use a burnt or not a burnt orange, a, a pumpkin orange. It's called Spice Pumpkin in cadmium yellow. Just to give it some variation. So I'm looking forward to it. I've not done one with these colors. Let's see. Oh, we got this one. You can turn your canvas any way you want to to be able to get to it. I'll probably turn it when I do those flowers and leaves over there. So we got that. So, need to do a spotty. I want to do it before I go on to the next thing. And I can't decide, do I want to do it this color or do I want to do it that color? And I think I'm going to do it the dark. Now you can wrap your, you can wrap your cow on around your canvas if you want to. I'm going to, because it's just two sides. So I'm going to go ahead and put that dark paint down here. I don't do a whole lot of variation, but that way if I do some of the other colors over the edge, it doesn't look funny. His body starts up here about halfway, so I'm not going to have to paint all the way up. And you can do this after if you want to, but I, uh, I usually go ahead and do it before because I forget. I want to do it, and then I forget. Old. I'm getting old. And the little lines in here, you don't have to worry about them. And they're more to give you an idea of a direction for you to pull your paintbrush. So I'm just trying to be careful around the edge of my cow, where I've already painted, so I don't... There we go. Coming out on your voice, and it was raining like hell, but it really was. And that was somebody who was saying 
songwriter survived on show like this, where, where for you, you also have pops to, to compete. Yeah, I got the base painting of the cow done. And I'm just going along the edge of my ear. And you can tell the strokes. It leaves just a teeny bit of a ridge. I don't like a ridge. I don't use, you can still see my white, part of my white bristles. I try not to use a whole, whole lot of paint on my paintbrush. Because you can always go back and pick up more. And I don't, it, I probably don't go halfway up my bristles. But it's, oh, poop. It's the, uh, <laughs> I went over, I went off my body into my background. Um, there. And all you do is take just a little bit of clean water, real quick, and you can get that off of there. Or a wipey, a baby wipe, and I don't have any with me right now. I've used them all up. Oh, now I forgot what I was talking about. Brain fart. So I'll wipe off my brush, then I put it in my water, and work it on the bottom real quick. And I have one of those little ridged things in the bottom of my bowl. And I just use a Cool Whip bowl, because it's big enough for my little ridged thing. And clean my brush out. Dry it off pretty good. And uh, I'm going to start with some spiced pumpkin here. You know what, I'd better start with my white for my horns because if I pick up white in my orange on the edge, it won't hurt. But I don't want to get orange in my white. So with the brush that I had, I'm just getting some white. I'm gonna base paint my horn. I'm just trying to stay in the lines. It's hard for me. I can't draw a straight line. I have a hard time staying in the lines. Get a little sprinkle of white on there. I'm trying to smooth out my lines on my first coat. I don't want ridges. And then there's part of a horn on this side. Oh, well, that's all right. I got a little dot in the brown of white. But when we do our lines, it won't matter. And I'm going to go over the edge with my white for my horn. Just making sure I got it smooth. There's where I've got it painted. And then the brown's down here. And the 
and the background colors. While I have white on my brush, I'm going to put the corner of it in the tan. And I'm going to work it back and forth. I'm going to put the corner of the white on the other side and just work it together a little bit. Then I'm going to pull it down here along the bottom edge of this horn. And I'm just going to work it in. And I don't have much on there, so I'm just going to come where I was. I'm going to put a little bit more white on that other corner and try to pick up. I've got my brush tilted so I can pick up a little bit more of that tan and do this side. Just go down here a little bit. I'm going to pick up a little bit more white so that I can work it in. There we go. And I'll put some more white on the top of that. So I'm going to wipe that off. So this is Americana Spice Pumpkin. And I just put maybe a dime's worth on my canvas. And I'm going to do the bottoms of my petals just for fun. I'm not worried about the lines. I can see the lines through it. I'm going to wipe that out. And I'm going to put out about the same amount of yellow. This cat yellow is kind of thick. There we go. About a dime size. I didn't really clean my brush. I'm going to pick up my yellow. And I'm going to start at the tips. And go into the orange. And kind of blend it. You can use a smaller brush. And you can wipe it out when you finish one petal so that your brush stays clean. I'm just going back and forth a little bit on there. Pick up a little bit of the orange. That one didn't have a lot of. Thank you. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, 
and picked up just a touch of orange with that one. And when I had that orange right there on the edge of that other petal. So we've done that one with the orange and the yellow. And we're going to come back and put another coat on it. So don't worry about how rough it looks. And another thing that we can do while we're working in the yellow, we can start with the yellow end. And with the yellow where it's lighter, you can go all the way down the petal. I like a little variation in my flowers. That's why I've done them this way. But I want to show you that you can do them all in one color. You just want to follow the edge of your outlines. Because your eyes will see the movement of your strokes. And like I said, I always try to make the first layer as smooth as possible. You can you you leave a few ridges on the second one, but you don't want those ridges to interfere with what you're doing when you initially start. And you can see the white lines through the paint. Not very good, but you can see them. This takes, just, this takes a few minutes. This is what you call the ugly stage of your of your painting. Still got to do its nose. There, I got a ridge in that one that is taking long. T and this little tassel here is a little bump towards a ridge towards the end, like I was saying not to do, but I have. And every and the reason I see it is because everything around it is dry, except for it. And when you paint back over a wet area in acrylic, it causes that paint to pull away from the canvas. So then it looks weird. Okay, there's that one. I'm going to turn my canvas so that these are easier. And I'm going to do this one in all yellow. Then I'm going to do the other one in the pumpkin spice. I like a variety. You know, those sunflowers are all different colors nowadays. They go from everywhere from yellow to white to red. And like a rusty, a rust, real dark, almost a brown. Real rusty red. So. But you can do them with a... Variety of the color, like we did that one. So 
So let's, part of this is kind of an experiment to see how well that, that these blendings work. So when I do a paint party, I can I can figure out which is the best way to do it. So you're my guinea pig. Am I? <laughs> So I'm going to go over the edge a little bit with this one. Tell you what, you can't go wrong with the songs from the 70s. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's one of my favorite songs. But I will not sing. I don't want to give you nightmares. So I went over my line a little bit with that one, so I just made my petal a little bit fatter, <laughs> which is perfectly fine. I really enjoy doing paint parties. As an artist, you can get very lonely staying in your um, studio. So we've got the yellow done. With the yellow on my brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of orange and just kind of pull it around here a little bit so it mixes in. And I'm just doing it along the bottom. Trying to pick up very little. I do want it to be a little, see a little bit better than that. There we go. If you can see, that twist away here a little bit. It's easier to pull a stroke towards you than away from you. There we go. And now, I'm going to do this whole flower in orange. I have to get these bottom ones painted. Just 
trying to get it good and smooth. Are y'all enjoying this? So we're painting this, and it is officially fall in Kentucky. So this week we've had nice. Starts out in the 40s in the morning, and then goes up into the 70s in the afternoon. So start out with a sweatshirt on. And I have the sweatshirt off about 8.30. Into my t-shirts, my short sleeves. So there's an orange one. And I think I'm going to do the orange on the bottom of this one. Like I've done these two. And leave that one yellow. I hope that background noise isn't bothering you too much. So, we're getting this orange on here, and then we'll go back and put the yellow. And then we still have the leaves to base coat and the nose. And we'll be ready to go do the, the second layer is also our finishing layer. Mm. I can't remember if that's supposed to be orange or yellow, but we're just going to make it orange. Just to be different. Okay. I'm going to wipe the orange out of my brush. I didn't really clean it. I just wiped the extra paint out. And pick up the yellow. I'm just putting it on the flowers and pulling it into the orange. And I'm doing it kind of... I'm doing it on my flat edge when I go into the orange, and it makes the edge a little rough. Can you see that? Making the edge a little rough there, ruffled. Just pulling that down in there. that in there. And what we'll do is we'll just go over the parts that need to go be gone to go over as it dries and uh, just put the highlights in it. bit there kind of blending it in a little bit and then I'm gonna go wipe that out good. 
put a little bit more orange in there. But like I said, if it's not good and dry, it wants to pull it up, and that's what it's doing. Okay. So we have everything base painted. Except for the leaves and the nose. We have all the flowers base painted. I am getting a sour a apple, which is a bright green. You can use any bright green that you like. You can use a grass green or a leaf green. And I'm just getting this green out of the Putting it on there. And I like that bright green. If you have a smaller brush, it might be easier for you. It will take a little bit longer. But I used a big brush on the background, and I've used this same brush the whole time base painting all of our cow and flowers and leaves. Just getting the paint out of the top of this because it takes such a little bit at a time. And if you're doing this at home, you could probably use three coats of paint to get it really, really thick. But you got to be sure and let it dry in between. There we go. Now all we got to do is put our nose color on. And what we do with it, I got to get a little bit of red. We're going to use powder of our tan. And I have a primary red. I'll shake it up just a little bit. Put it over here. I put way too much out. 
so I'm gonna I gotta clean out my brush first I need to clean my brush dummy 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 okay got to thinking about my color got to clean my brush out so clean that out good okay now I have to go from a side that doesn't have any green in it I'm gonna scoop up a little bit of this tan and put it over here and I'm gonna pick up just a corner of red and mix it in here I want a, a peachy a pinky tan I don't want it real pinky because I don't want it to look piggy I'll give it more tan and mix it up okay So this is the color that I made, and you can see it's just a little bit pinker than my tan. Let's scoot that up so we can see what we're doing here. And so I'm just gonna go around here. You can use a tan color. Uh, a flesh color, a medium flesh color. On these, you don't want to cut paint the hose, but you do want to try to cover up the the um, nose holes, the white lines. But there's no reason to cover up the hose because they're black. And I, I also left black when I traced on the tracer I went over the lines with a white Posco pen or a paint pen and uh, I used a really extra fine point Posco pen and I went ahead and I did my highlight which is a dot in a in a like a comma it can be longer, but I just did that little bit in my eye and painted around it, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So, and the nose has uh, highlights on it, but I will do those in a minute. We'll go back and do those after it dries. It's not on the nostrils, it's just on the top of the nose. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any ridges on top of my nose. It would mess with my with my highlight line. Don't want to mess up your highlight lines. It would, you can use a uh, medium size round brush. to uh, paint the smaller areas in and we might get one when we do our next layer I'm going to go down here just a little bit to cover that black spot I got there we go where I missed it a while ago so we have all of our base painting done And I can tell you right now that I still have a wet spot right here because I've got a ridge and a wet spot right here. Everything else, as far as his fur, is dry. Oh, 
I gotta straighten my knee out. I got a sore knee. So I'm gonna try to mess with this a little bit and get that ridge out of there. Because it will mess with their with our design. Okay. So next, what we do while our flowers and leaves and stuff are drying, we're going to pick up I'm going to start with the with the uh, center part. And I use my flat brush. I use my edge. And I pick up a lighter color. And I make my lines. I kind of make my, my long lines. And I'm just... Making a few lines here, down through my hair. And then start doing the dark one. I'm just going around. I, you can see that I go off the edge of it a little bit. So. And I just do this and I make lines all over with this. But I do try to, like, outline kind of parts of it so that I know. Very easy. And I kind of go off the edges where I'm going to, where I want to paint. I'm going to. I'm going to get, do I have my round brush out here? Nope. I'm going to get my round brush. There's my round brush. That's too big. I only have a few brushes, you all. That's about the size I want. I'm not real crazy about that one. I have one that I really like. But I don't see it. So I think I'm going to have to go with that one. So I think I'm going to use my round brush. But you can see the lines that you can get with your, with this edge. And you try to make this edge as skinny as possible. See how narrow it is? And then when you draw with it, you go long ways. And it makes some really nice lines. I'm going to get this wet. And I'm going to pick up my middle color. And I got way too much on there. I'm going to roll my brush so I get a nice pointy line. And I'm going to draw some lines with it. So I'm using my medium color on my dark ears right now. I'm going to go all the way up to my flowers. Not really on them, but up to them. Tour. I was like, wow, DIY is really exciting and 
school. We can have more like a laugh about country music. Okay. Okay, now that's not fair. That's not fair. You know what? I'm going to take that back because I feel like... He lives in other countries. Yeah, I do live in other countries. I want to take that back. Thank you, John. I hope that went back. Okay, John. Um, but I'm excited for your guys' journey. Okay, dip a little bit of dark. Get some dark lines in here. I want to go over into my lighter color. I hear something, and I hope it is not a mouse. I'm going to wipe off my brush a minute. I'm going to pick up some of this light color. And I'm going to go around my nose. Just add some streaks in here. There we go. See, it's dry enough. It's got that second coat. Put a, put another layer down here on the chin because we're not going to do anything else to it. There we go. Now we can go back to doing some more lines. This is dark. I'm going to pick up some more of the light. And I'm just going to do some streaks down through here. Take a few of them off the floor. Off on the side. I have to put a little bit more tan out. Okay, now Where's my tan? Hadn't taken the plastic off of that one yet. There we go. If it blends, it doesn't matter. This little brush is a little old. It doesn't really want to stay together very well. I guess my other brush is upstairs in the wash, which is the sink. I just didn't bring them down. I'm gonna wipe it out, and I'm going to pick up my middle color, which is a burnt sienna. Put some of that down in here. Some of it up in here in the in the ears. Get some 
Actually, we've about got the cow finished. We're going to go over its nose again. And, uh, but it's still a little damp, so we got to let it dry a little bit. You can put some of your little stripes down here if you want to, but they're hard to do on these corners. I don't usually bother. Just whatever, um, try to get a few up here by its cheek. Um, I just kind of let them do their thing on the edge. Pick up a little bit more tan. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the dark that I used and try to go over some of the Let's see, do we need any more? I'm going to go along this edge a little bit just to cover up that white. Make a few little streaks down into the tan. I just, I want to go over the edges a little bit. Like that. And I'm going to pick up the dark. I didn't clean my brush. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the dark and pull it down in here too. I just don't want the edges to be all even. So I'm happy with the way that my cow looks. I'm going to clean this brush. And I've decided I'm not done. But I had so much paint on there. Put this in the dark paint. And I'm going over these edges just a little bit with the dark. And then I'm going to wipe it out. And I'm going to pick up the burnt sienna, the medium. And add a few, a few, um, there we go. Yeah, I think we're finished with the hair. I want to get a little bit of black take much at all. I'm going to show you how much I'm going to put on here. Just a couple little dots. That's all it takes. I'm going to use my round brush and I'm going to put some black dots on my on my flowers. Can you see that? You see what I'm doing there? You see the little black dots? So. Yeah, stick my thumb in the... And I'm trying to make my... When I pick up my paint, I do. And I'm just barely tapping it. They're just small dots. A little heavier on the outside than the inside.
was just a real mess. And it felt like God was working on me. And that was kind of a pivotal moment where I realized that I wanted more with music. I honestly want to live in the house of his, even for the short amount of time that he was here. He lived in the house somewhere. For my band, I wish him I was with the band by Switch and Up, Baby No More Fun by Britney Spears. It's a soulful rendition. A little bit more black on this. I'm going to show you before I go down and do the other flowers how much black I put on it. And I'm going to put the black on these centers. I'm going around the edge a little bit. It's not solid around the edge. There we go. Got that part done. And while I have this, I'm going to put a little bit of black on it. And I'm going just over these nose holes a little bit to cover up those white lines I have in there. Because I want those gone. Okay, so I'm going to clean out this black really good because this black takes over everything. Make sure that on my water there's no black in it. I'm going to go back to my orange and my yellows. And I'm just going to go around the edges. I'm just going to, and I'm doing it kind of like I did the black. I'm just tapping along the edge. And I like to do the set before I go on to the others. And I'm going to pick up my yellow. And I'm going to just pull it from the top. Not really getting into it a whole lot. I'm just pulling it down to where I painted. And we're just lightly going over and making my petal a little bit more solid. Takes very little paint. Thank you. 
need just a touch more of yellow. Not much, just a drop or two. See if I can do just a drop or two. There we go. I did it! Just a drop or two. And I'm going to do my middle. I'm just using my round. I push a little bit further in the middle to make my brush fatten out a little bit. I'm just pulling my brush in the direction of the petal so you've got the definition there. And I'm pulling towards me down here because it's easier to pull to towards you than it is away from you. I can pull sideways easily from either side, but to, to do this is a little bit harder for me. And now if I have the ridges in my flowers where I didn't want them on the first layer, I don't mind as much. Oop, I almost put it in the orange. And if you don't get it all the way to the edge, it's kind of like a shadowing. Because it's kind of a grayish yellow. Now I'm going to do this one towards the orange like I did earlier. Going down to the orange. Now pull that one down just a little bit because just to separate the petals like it's the edge. Ragged that, ripping that edge up right there a little bit. Yeah, because your 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 petals don't have just a straight edge; they have a little bit of rough edge to them. There we go. 
Okay. So there's part of my flowers. We've still got to come back and put our little highlights on them. I'm going to do these. I'm going to start with the orange. I'm going to do the orange like I did the yellow one up there. I'm just going to do the whole thing. All the way to the center. I got this one petal to do in the orange and it goes over the edge here I'm going to try to There we go. Now, I'll take the orange. Oh, put that off the table. And I'm going to go around the edge here like I did the other one. And I'm just tapping it in. Got to run out of orange. I hope I get all the way around. I don't want to have to get any more out. There we go. Go wipe off the extra orange. And see, I don't think I've got to put more yellow out. Another couple dots. Got orange yellow on my. Using more yellow than I am orange. See, I got yellow on my, so I gotta stick my finger in the my thumb in the water and wipe it off. Cause I. Don't want to get yellow on the canvas where it doesn't belong. And then I'm going to go do the rest of my petals. I'm having a hot flash, you all. <laughs> I'm burning up. Tempted to run outside. We'll cool off a minute. And this is another flower that's hanging off of the side. There we go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
country music for you. Um, you were talking about the marathon on Fox stuff. Um, I pulled down the video, sent it to Aaron B. Cox to help her find Drake Vibes. There we go. Got those. Got those done. I'll just leave the plant like that right now because we need to do some more green. I need a knife. I got to get just a couple drops out of here and I did not cut the plastic off of that. There we go. Amazing how close to the end we are. Once you get through that first layer, you just about got it whipped. I got those leaves done. Well, I don't have them done. I've got them, their second coat on them. With acrylics, you do a lot of layering and building up of your color. And the darker background makes it brighter looking as you build it up. And in here, I can see where I have drawn the lines for the veins. And we'll go back and put those on. We'll use a liner brush to put on our little details, our highlights, and as soon as we get our highlights done, this baby is, only thing it needs is a signature. You can use your liner, or you can go back after it's good and dry and use a marker. I always recommend a fine tip or a graphic marker. There we go. Got that one done. I'm going to clean the, clean the green out of that. And I'm going to get a liner brush. And there's all kinds of liners. There's short ones. There's long ones. I try to use like a medium length. I guess I use this long one. That's what I've got. See how long that is? I just touch the water. I'm going to get the white and I'm just going to... Well, you can't see that. So I dip the water. Just dipped it a little bit end of it and I'm doing this. And just thinning down the paint just a little bit and then when I get ready to use it I roll it around. And first thing we're going to do are our, our flowers. And I just go and I make a line closest to the to the sun. And then I go over my my veins. 
You can use a different color for your veins if you want to. But I just, I use the white or I might, sometimes I use the brown. I'm done here. I'm just going to put a few white dots in my flower. Not very many. And only on the top, only on the top side. And if you don't want to use the white, you could use the yellow. Okay. Up some more white and do these flowers. Well, yeah, we'll do these flowers. I forgot to put my second coat on my nose, so. But these are just like long commas. That's all they are. Do our vine, veins, 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 not vines. And you can also put a little accent on that if you want to. Kind of do the edge of it to separate them a little bit. Now, another thing that we can do while we've got our liner is to put some white streaks in our cow. Doesn't take much. These are just highlights. Don't like how I'm making a dot there, though. And most of them are towards the top. Just a few down here. Let's see. Oh, I didn't do my dots on my... I have to go back and look at stuff and... See what I've missed. Okay, now I got black. I'm going to clean my white out at the, for the moment. I'm going to take my liner and I'm going to do the same thing I did with my white to my black. Because I almost forgot it. Now I'm going to do a few lines with the, with the black, which is like a shadow.
from that Supreme Court rule, they do like Queen Sunday. And so every Sunday we know that we're going to have mariachi music, dances, Jesus, Jesus like singing his heart out, completely off the chain. But hearing that my entire life definitely played a role into my love for music. I just graduated in December and I've been playing out all these songs in wineries, being in the studio with my own stuff. There we go. We got just a few black, just a few white. Um, I got all my white dots in my flowers. Got my white streaks. So what I'm going to do now, I have to make some more of this color. So I got to pick up my tan, get a touch of white. And then I'm going to go back up. We're going to go back over our nose. And you just want to be careful and not hit what you've already painted. I'm going to have to make some more. didn't make enough. There we go. Let's see. Did I get the same color? Yep. Just amazing what that second coat does. Now, we're going to clean that off, and the very last thing we need to do is get our liner brush. And put a little white on it and roll it around so you've got a sharp point and you're going to do a line along the top of your nose this way and a line along the top of your nose that way and he is finished so all you got left to do is sign it I'm not going to use the white I'm going to use the black to sign it I can't do it sideways. I got to do it towards me. And I always put my name. Well, I put my first initials and my last name. So that, you know, in a hundred years, maybe 200 years, they'll have me on the Antiques Roadshow. And I might be worth $10. And then I always put the date. So it's September 2022. Thank you for painting with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun to do. And you have a good night. I'll give you a little close-up of this. How the flowers turned out. There we go. Have a good evening.